everything count. You know, everybody doesn't matter how small the thing your job is, but it's important. So we need everybody to need their hands on the ball and get it done. You know, if you care about something and, and you you think about what you're doing and who's on the submarine and what it's for, it's important. And it's important that you do your job well and be vigilant and do it. As hard as we work to put these together and make sure they're operational, these guys are putting all their faith into what we built um, and going out and doing one of the hardest jobs in the military and uh, serving on a submarine. I know a lot of men and women that put a lot of hard work into building these so that way the sailors do come home safe. Feel confident that EB is building a good submarine for you, that you're going to go out into the ocean and be able to come back to your families every time. Our liberty we prize and our rights we will maintain. Hold that true. Remember that in some of those tough times when you're down there that you're doing good work and you're doing it for a bunch of people that appreciate it. Being with a bunch of guys that has that same outlook, you know, family first, you know, uh, I can really appreciate it that we have our own personal family because we spend so much time together. We're also one of the few boats that are uh, fully integrated with uh, male and, and female crew. And I think this is great. I think it provides more diversity in our Navy and in the submarine force. And, and using that and leveraging that, uh, we'll have more ideas uh, for very complicated problems to solve. So I think that added diversity is probably the most important thing for us to kind of cherish and grow as a community. So we've had women in submarines for about a decade now, and they're top performing sailors as it is. So uh, the, the good thing about Iowa is that the accommodations will have uh, more comfort for the, the females coming on board. And every time that I go down to the boat, something new is added on, new equipment. Um, different things added to the forward and aft compartment. Um, it's just great to see uh, this giant vessel that can uh, be submerged uh, finally come together. You don't really think about how they're actually built and how it comes from like metal pieces to valves and pipes and machines inside the submarine. You know, you, make, you fight for every little bit of progress and seeing the combination of that, it's just incredible to see the work that so many individuals have put in and getting it to where it will be. It's a operational warship getting out in the fight. When I first showed up it was less than half a boat, but just seeing it slowly turn into what looks like a submarine from the outside is actually quite amazing. It is incredible to see uh, how all of the bits and pieces go together um, with you know, laser precision and uh, the quality of the work that we get. Uh, I think uh, I can speak for, for everyone else on board that we're all just chomping at the bit for the opportunity to get out to sea and uh, we're, we're counting down the days and looking forward to it. it, it it's a true feat of uh, modern engineering and uh, for electric boat it's not just a job. It, it in and of itself is a service to our country where it, it demands so much of all the people working on it. Uh, as a man who grew up playing sports, shipbuilding is a team sport, and they are amazing teammates here at EB, Electric Boat. Get us in the fight. We're ready. The crew's ready. The crew is ready. Let's get her in the fight. <laughs>